So we've got a couple of middleweight naked sport bikes from Suzuki here. So what is this one here, Nick? Right, so I bought this one yesterday. Just a 2015 GSR 750. Um, yeah, no, it goes it goes really well. It's an awesome bike. Yeah, it's fucking got like perfect amount of ground for the street. Yeah, 750 is a great size. It's not too heavy. It's not overpowered. It's not underpowered. And um, so his engine was derived from the GSX R 750, but tuned for more mid range because it's a naked bike, which is what you want on a street anyway. So it's pretty good. Yeah, definitely. We just put a new tire on the back. Probably. Yeah. yeah, it's a good tire. See how it goes. Gotta be careful because it's pretty wet out there <laughs> and on new tire. I really like the paint job. It's like a pearl white. Yeah, I've always liked the Suzuki paint jobs. Yeah. Detail it's got a nice riding position. Quite upright. Heated grips. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Join the Ulysses Club. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it's quite a nice feature. Yeah, um, it's got some like spotlights, so mm. turn on the um, probably can't see it in the day, but so low beam just has your low beam, you put on the high beam, and it... yeah, it's got spotlights come on, so spotlights get a bit more light, see around there, and they're pretty tucked away, so you can't actually, you know, it's not, you know, yeah, you don't really notice they're there, yeah, so uh, until you point them out, really, yeah, pretty good. Dash is nice and clear, like it's all. Got all the information that you need, or yeah. As you'd expect from a modern bike, I suppose. Yeah. It's like fuel gauge, obviously. And the good thing about it, though, it's not overbearingly electronic. Like it doesn't have ABS or traction yeah. control, so it's still a raw sort of experience, but it's still got that modern reliability, and you can just jump on it. it starts up every time. Just go wherever you want. Yeah, yeah problem free. Good. Yeah, I hate those rider aids, like. Yeah. Rather just a raw riding experience, which is why I think the SV is such a great bike. Yeah, the SV is similar. So, the only, so yeah, it's just got fuel injection. It's the only electronic thing, really. Yeah. And um, reliable as this thing's over 100,000 Ks now, and it's fine. This is the one and only <laughs> SV. They look great together. It's going to be fun riding them together because they're a similar, or pretty much the same class motorcycle. Yeah, same class, just different engine. Yeah. So this one makes about 105, 110 horsepower, the GSR. So obviously it's got a lot more grunt than the SV, but the SV is still pretty grunty and pretty light in corners. So it'll be pretty fun yeah, sort of bike good. to ride together. I'd say the SV would be a bit lighter, would it? Yeah, it's lighter. It's lighter than the GSR, but... <clears throat> Doesn't matter too much. Yeah, and the forks. It's got nice upside down forks on there and they feel, they feel good. The engine looks like really easy to work on. Yeah. And you see it right here, that side is so accessible. Oil filter right there. Yeah. The cavity there so you can put a feel around. Yeah. Put a roast dinner in there. Yeah. Slow cook your meal. Yeah. Put some bacon and some tin foil. Ah, sweet. Come out perfect. It's awesome. Yeah. And, he's, and he's kind of already kind of um, fabricated this tail tidy out of the old one. So yeah, it's good. Yeah. A bit more of like the rear wheels exposed. So it's quite nice. Yeah, I really like it. Get further back so you can see the whole thing. So this is going to be Nick's personal bike. He's it's not going to put it up for sale anytime soon or yeah. ever. Yeah, it's going to be my riding bike, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, we'll get some GoPros for summer. And yeah. We'll, um, we'll do some videos. I think it's got a brand new front front tire as well. Like it's yeah. Michelin. It's all Michelin. It's good. Oh, that's right. It's Bridgestone. Oh yeah. One sure though. But um, yeah, it's going to be cool. Yeah. You gonna do anything to it? Um, nah. Oh, maybe, maybe try and get a little bit more power. Maybe some exhaust. Yeah, it'll be cool to do an exhaust on it. Exhaust and like intakes and all that. But yeah, I'm not actually too fast. It's quite nice just out the box. Yeah. So, yeah. What an awesome bike. Yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a shame because. Been raining these past few days, you can't, yeah. can't exactly give it views. Yeah, uh, especially with the new retire, so it's slippery. Take yeah, take it pretty easy. Yeah, well, we just um, adjusted the chain and got that on the SV. Yeah, it's a little bit of periodic maintenance. Yeah. Chain's getting pretty, pretty fucked, <laughs> but 
put a new one on soon. Yeah. Yeah, I really, really like it. It's a great bike. Um, cable clutch. Cable clutch. That's what I like. And like surprisingly, you can see quite a bit out of these fiery mirrors. mirrors. You know, yeah. like it's not actually horrible. Um, probably put some like gaps in, in there so it rusts out the threads. Yeah, anodized ones. Oh. Anodized, <laughs> anodized pink from yeah. AliExpress. Anodized pink from AliExpress. <laughs> Get some spools put on there. It's nice how Suzuki puts the threads on the swing arms. Like on, yeah. the, on my SV, it's the same. You just bolt in the spool so then you can put it on a pad extend. It's good. It's true. And one of the first things I looked out for, you can see with the side stand on the SV, it's very. Yeah, the side stand sucks on the SV. Oh, it's just like straight. It's kind of like a Harley Davidson. Yeah. Like, you know, it's like it's all over. Yeah. But needs more. Needs to move forwards more. Now like over the center of where it folds up. The first thing I looked at was that. So. <laughs> It actually has a good yeah, side stand, Yeah, if there's any SP650 owners out there, they'll know what we're talking about with their side stands. Yeah. But... <laughs> it's got like double check. Yeah. Put it down. Wait, Nick, how did we get the tyre here to the bike shop? Oh. <laughs> well, uh, I just had it, had it around him. Yeah, <laughs> I looked like the Michelin man when I was riding this. Yeah. With the tyre around me. Like a goober. People loved it. Just took it real easy. Yeah. Oh yeah, and look, just looking at it now, it looks like the speedo is probably driven off here. Oh yeah, it's good. Because um, on my FZR 1000, still need to do a video on that. Yeah. Um, I've got a set of like 2018 GSX-R 1000, like front end and rear end. So we'll see if it fits on. Cause, yeah. You know, it's like a little bit of an upgrade. It's got yeah. radial brakes on the, on the other set. Yeah, same brakes as my SV on this. They're, they're yeah. good, but they're not amazing. Yeah, but they they work pretty good for the street. Yeah. You know, like, you never really need to stop in too much of a hurry. Yeah. Unless you fuck up pretty bad. I really like it. I reckon I'll just leave it as it is, maybe do an exhaust. Yeah. I like a loud bike. Yeah, definitely. And um, I'll start put spools on it. Yeah, to start it up. Nothing really uh, fancy here, but... Yeah. Cool switch. Clutch in. Yep, smooth. Starts right up. What I want. Like, as much as I love carburetors. Yeah, fuel injection's nice, but when you just want to jump on and ride it, yeah. it doesn't even fail. Four thousand RPM at um, hundred k's an hour, so it'll be good for like a summer tour. Yeah, perfect. Like it's not over revving or anything; it just pulls along and sits. Yeah. Um, and you don't even need to uh, drop it down again. So you good. just roll on the gas, and you're fucking away laughing in no time. Yeah. Up the SV as well. <laughs> oh, I gotta pull the clutch in. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. There we go. Good pair of motorcycles. Yeah. So excited for summer, man. Hell yeah. 